Morning guys, welcome to today. Sophie's putting out all these little piles of hay for the mini and uh, for Gracie. and Gabby have gone to the store to get a few things. Did something different with the foal today and Sophie stayed and watched for a really long time. Then she went to the store with Sam. She told me to do Q15 minute checks on her. And so I am rushing down. I don't know, not know why they put this up when the door is closed. But oh, I'm coming down to check. Oh my God. You guys. Oh, my heart is so warm. So when I got down here, all I saw were both of them were face towards us, eating their hay. So you guys know we're in the process of switching our foal over to being in the herd. And we did some experimental stuff to find out which one of our horses would be the first one to introduce to our foal. And it turned out that some of you already had guessed, but Gracie, loves her and yesterday my camera cut off but she actually was treating her like she was the mom like total instinct but it was just amazing to watch so then today we decided to keep Gracie in off the field give them hay together let them have breakfast together and let them interact so Sophie stayed down here for like an hour watching them but it was exactly the same situation they got together and they were perfect. In fact, yesterday when we took the foal away from Gracie, when we brought all the horses in, Gracie was so pushy and she actually was trying to push the door down to get to the foal. Like they want to be together and it's working out so well. I can't believe it. This is my first Q15 minute check. And they're doing so good. Like this was so uneventful and so amazing. There's so much more to get through though. Like if I decide, if we decide we want them to be in a herd together, then we have to get through Willow and Willow is ferocious. I just was remembering how anytime we've added another horse, it's always been Willow that's been like the one that you have to worry about. I'm so proud of them, so happy. I'm so happy that we can leave her with a friend. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do, maybe tomorrow, is feed them outside. So now that they're like really good together in here, we'll open this door and then the foal can run and be like out in the bigger field and she can get used to that. And Sophie can figure out if she's gonna be able to catch her, which I think she should be able to catch her, let's see. So I should be able to just walk up to her and touch her. And if, oh, look it, she, she just looked at that foal and then looked at me and was like, you better stay away from my foal. Yeah, see, she should be able to catch her, no problem. Look at that big baby butt. She's so big. <laughs> she's, she's definitely a mini. You're keeping up with steps I take, so we just dance alone. Yeah, we dance 
like no one's watching. I'm obsessed. Like honestly, so obsessed. I saw a comment today saying like foals take so much time and, and so much work. What the heck are you thinking? And that's exactly why Sophie and I are into foals. Because we have a lot of energy and we have like a lot of drive to be busy and having a foal actually fills that fulfills that for us and do you guys know that when i had my kids there was 18 years between the first one and then gabby was born 18 years later and gabby was so wanted and so tried for i'd have surgery before i could even get pregnant with gabby and i was working and i was like telling my friends like you know about the surgery and going through the process and sharing it with my friends and every single person i encountered was like this is ridiculous you're crazy nobody needs a baby at your age nobody needs like and like why would you even want another kid kids are like totally my passion like i loved having kids i love having kids at home i Lot. Like it's just such a passion for me and I get it that that is not their experience and that that's not What they love but this is what we love like Sophie and I are enjoying this whole full experience Learning and growing we've learned so much. I've talked to my vet. I've sent like Messages to my vet three times already. Well, what about this and what about that? And he's like Laura calm the heck down. <laughs> She's fine we are so happy to get to spend time with her and to work with her and to figure things out for her. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your baby's on the move. <laughs> she can reach the water. She can just barely reach the water. But you see how Gracie always follows and puts herself between us and the foal? This is what she does all the time. And she looks at the dog and she puts herself between the dog. She moves the foal, tries to move the foal away from the dog. It's just insane how she, how she just instinctually knows to do that. me to catch her. All right, so uh, you have to hold on to Willow. You have to bring the mini out. All right, yeah. Oh. Turn it into like this whole huge. Yeah, see if we do it my way, it would have been better. Okay, give Well, I did what? We're going up there and you cannot let her eat. I'm not going to lie. It takes a lot of. It takes a lot of figuring things out to happen to introduce a new horse. Well, you guys know what it's like, but we're okay with that. We're okay with doing the work. Gracie's like, yeah, I was babysitting. <laughs> I so, pushed her out. How did you I feel like, yeah. Gracie did with, Good. with Honey today? Good. Good? I thought so too. I thought she was amazing. I ran down to check on her and they were just standing beside each other eating. Yeah. It was beautiful. So tonight, we're doing something for Gabby that Gabby likes. Where are we going tonight, Gabby? And Dad. And Dad. Dad and was like, Dad finds it, and Dad tells me about it. Yeah. And Dad was the one who was like, Gabby and I are going, even if you guys can't go. Yeah, and then we all decided we're to go. Going. So where yeah, are we I going? Was forced to go. Yeah, you can stay. You can stay home. So where are we going? We're going to a haunted house. We are going to a haunted house. You guys know that we did this last year. We went and did some haunted houses and we're gonna do it again this year. Gabby really likes it. Sophie and I, not as much. But I'm excited to do things that Gabby likes too. Just finding out what Gabby likes is I what the trouble is. Time, I'm not a scary person. On a haunted trail thing with Elizabeth, I pushed Elizabeth. Yeah, so. Like, get out of my way. Definitely we'll be going with friends. Again, but it'll Someone be fun. Someone will be getting pushed. So we'll, we'll try and take. Apparently, they hop on the ride with you. Really? Yeah. Oh no, no. So we're going on a wagon ride first, and then no. Gabby and her friend are going into the haunted house. I might but go into a haunted 
yeah, might go into a haunted house. So we'll take you guys with us in a little while and, and show you what it's like. The nightlife of day by day vlogs. Something you guys don't get to see very much of. So uh, you guys know that we've been at trail riding with our friends. Barn Boots and Country Roots and it's been glorious. Well, what you didn't know was that at the last trail ride, Penny decided she was not getting on the trailer to come home. And we all tried. We all tried everything. Like, we all know how to get a horse on a trailer. All of us. <laughs> Even Julia tried. We all thought we could do it. And she just kept saying, no, no, no. There was this man there. I didn't tell you guys the story. It was so funny. And he just stayed the whole time we were taking to get Penny on the trailer. And he just watched us. And... You could tell he was like right into it and he even took a turn. I don't even know if he has any experience with horses, but he was so like into Penny's journey trying to get her on the trailer. And he just stood there and he rubbed her head. And you guys know Penny doesn't really love men. She fell in love with this man because she did not want to get on the trailer. And he was just letting her stand with him. And he was rubbing her face and she was looking at him the way she looks at me. <laughs> and I was like, Penny! <laughs> Anyway, we did get her on the trailer. And because at one point she just got tired and she just got bored with the whole thing and she's like, fine, I'll get on. And then she just hopped on with me like nothing else has ever, like nothing else had happened. So this weekend I plan to do some more trailer training with Penny. Uh, right now we're getting ready to go out, but that is my goal for tomorrow. Do some trailer training with Honey. <laughs> it just goes right up. Yeah, she's easier than Penny, that's for sure. So our vet gave us some um, fun ideas of things that we can do with Penny while she's, whoo! <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. She's going to run down. Our vet gave us some ideas of things that we can do with Penny. Oh, you're spicy. Yeah, see, that's the, as spicy as she gets. Did you see that? Wait, watch. Like, she's such an easygoing pony. You guys tell me. Is she an easygoing pony or is it my imagination? Like... Like a mini. Is she easy going? So anyway, we're taking her for Before her daily. Before makeup comes off because I sweat. We're taking her for her walk. Sophie walks her around the property until she's like fully integrated into the herd. But now she'll be spending all her mornings she's like, in the arena with her Gracie girl. I will kill you. She doesn't kill. She says she's not a killer. She's a lover, not a fighter. She's right. <laughs> Stand up for yourself. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm Yeah, she is so good. Like, if you're going to be learning, this is the kind of girl to learn from, for sure. Look at those ears. <laughs> I think I would let her eat. Yeah, Sophie's pretty strict with her in terms if of... you love a little eater only broke, I yell at you. Because yeah. Because she gets bad habits. Yeah. Gab, Sophie is very, very particular about her fool. You, oh, I missed it, but Gracie is over there making all sorts of noise looking at honey. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Playing cold, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go, I just feel I need to take a ride. Coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. I think Penny will be mean. Oh, she's like, There's my mom. <laughs> They're so cute. Penny's like, I don't want anything to do with it. You are so cute. Yeah, I don't know. Penny's she's shaking. Exactly. Penny is shaking. Let her <laughs> she's gonna <take> wheel. <laughs> And Look at Gracie's going to protect her baby. Holy heck. See, this is something that we have to be careful of. Because she will bolt. Penny has never shared a fence line with her before. And I think she's scared. She's really scared of her. Or if you lost your fence. No, she's scared of her. Chino's scared of her too. And Willow just doesn't like her. But Willow, Willow is settling in. She doesn't lunge at her anymore. Come on, Penny. Come here. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. I 
dog took scratches. Yes, she does. <laughs> She's trying to groom Sophie. You guys see? She's grooming Sophie. <laughs> She's such a cute baby. I know this is so small. I know, and it's so soft. She's a, oh, look at her smelling your hair. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you're so cute. Oh, man, she's so cute. Don't you know that